So, some of you may be um, tying up some loose ends with something or a situation or a person that they thought was supposed to be something only short term. Um, this person could have had like a one night stand that turned into something a little bit longer or did something impulsively and got involved with somebody that they are trying to cut ties with. <clears throat> um, this person could be um, trying to figure out ways to hurry up and get someone out of their energy. Um, they're be they're getting impatient. Someone's getting impatient. Um, it's like they're trying to close out a cycle with somebody, but someone's not wanting to go. This is a really strange energy, but someone is trying to close out a cycle with somebody, and um, someone is moving forward. The wheel of fortune is not on someone's side here. Someone made a bad decision. Yeah, they fell for the low-hanging fruit. This person was not um, strong. This person was not courageous. They were weak. Uh, they had a third-party situation going, so they could have involved a third party in something, and they're trying to get rid of this third party. Um, they could have chose a third party over a divine femme or masculine. Someone is worried about their financial stability, and there's a ton of swords here. There's a permanent ending to something. Something is moving quickly for somebody, though. The chariot energy, the go energy. Somebody could be moving or traveling, or something is already in motion for somebody to move forward. So somebody could be trying to get rid of somebody to go towards somebody else, but they've already moved on. Someone has some talents here. The Eight of Pentacles. Someone could be manifesting money or finances or, um, you know, a new career based on their gifts or talents. <clears throat> This could be you. So somebody could be trying to hurry up and ghost somebody that was supposed to be a short-term fling or something like that to go towards a divine femme or masculine. Um, they could be watching you, admiring you with your gifts and talents. Somebody sees that you're manifesting with the magician here, um, that you have the ability to, um, you know, do whatever you set your mind to. It's like somebody may have underestimated you and discarded you too quickly. For something that was going to be a short term with somebody else. This person is very non-committal. This karmic energy is very non-committal and flighty. This is like that seven of cups sulky energy for my fantastical creatures tarot. It's someone who jumps around from person to place thing. Um, this only brings them disappointment. And this person made a bad decision. And now they're trying to hurry up and get rid of the person that they chose impulsively. Maybe they knew that this wasn't going to go anywhere. Maybe they were just not thinking about being um, committed to anyone at the time. Somebody was in their king or queen of wands energy. Somebody wants to come towards another person with an offer. That With a knight of cups, someone is traveling towards someone to make them an offer. Yeah, somebody was a liar with the king of swords in the reverse. Somebody could have lied about... Um, involving a third party or making you a third party to something. This is an emotional time, Five of Cups. So there's an emotional situation. This could have to do with an offer that's coming towards a Divine Femme or Masculine because someone um, maybe that you were interested in or wanted to be in a relationship in or maybe you were with this, this person who chose um, a third party over you. But this person is all emotional about an offer you're going to get. But this other person, this karmic energy is a liar. And they lied about involving this third party. So something didn't work out for them. Someone didn't get some sort of award or accolade or recognition that they were expecting to get. Maybe they thought if they lied on a Divine Femme or Masculine, it would bring them some sort of clout. And then we have an Emperor here in the upright. So we have an Emperor that could be traveling towards somebody to make them a legit stable offer. You know, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Someone discarded someone too quickly. And someone else is going to scoop this Divine Femme or Divine Masculine up. I'm hearing silver bells, silver bells. So Christmas could be significant or around Christmas time. I know that's like very soon. <laughs> yeah, somebody was not inspired. Somebody... Somebody didn't look at you as inspiration or motivational. It's like maybe you talk some really good stuff, but somebody didn't want to hear it. Someone feels uninspired. It could be this karmic energy who is not inspired by this third party. And they made a judgment call. They judged a book by its cover, and they did something really quickly, and now they're regretting that decision. 
Um, the trust is broken, though. You don't trust this person anymore because you knew that they were lying. Or you found out that they lied to you. <clears throat> about a person or a situation. So, this person is uninspired by whatever third party this is. They don't want to deal with them. They don't want to be with them. Uh, but you don't trust them. You, you're moving forward. So they could have lied about being single to be in a relationship with you, or maybe they lied about even wanting to be in a relationship. Yeah, somebody bound themselves to a negative situation. They tried to trap someone in a negative situation, or somebody felt like they were trapped in a negative situation. <laughs> someone could be coming toward you with some sort of communication or information with the Page of Wands. <clears throat> They didn't have a positive outcome, so somebody could be coming to you trying to apologize. Oh, I made the wrong choice. I fucked up. I didn't see things clearly. Um, there's a death and a rebirth, though. There's major changes coming. So this person could be trying to stop you from moving forward, moving ahead, because they can't move on or move forward. But that's a them problem, not a you problem. Um, there's an empress energy here. Big changes are coming for an empress energy. And that is because there's an emperor here that wants to come make you a solid offer. You're going to have a decision to make with the Two of Swords. You're going to be faced with a decision. You're going to be at a crossroads. This one tried to fall out. I just accidentally bumped it and it kind of fell over. Some sort of secret is going to be revealed. So when some sort of secret gets exposed or revealed, <clears throat> that could be what the Page of Wands is. Uh, there could be a Page of Wands, someone wanting to come and reveal some sort of information or communication. Um, your decision may be easy, easy, easy. <laughs> Mike Tyson could be significant. <laughs> easy, easy peasy lemon squeezy. <laughs> um, because you tend to sort something, you walked away from something, and when you did, there was a permanent ending there. So your decision may actually be very easy. You have a group community, um, somebody, you know, a group of people here that want to work with you, work for you, work towards you. Maybe you walked away from a group or a community. Maybe you have, or maybe you're going to have to, to heal some sort of heartbreak. So you could be just moving out of town, moving, um, you know, even to a different state, even a, for some, a country. There was a king of cups here who is emotionally unstable, this masculine energy. <clears throat> um, and they were a liar and they were an unofficial person. So this person could have tried to have you juggling finances. They could be juggling finances. They're a liar. And they're an unofficial person. They're hierophant and the reverse. So this could be a religious figure, a religious person, a spiritualist. Uh, but this would be somebody who lies to um, gain something off of people, uses manipulation. <clears throat> They didn't give you the offer that you've been waiting for. Maybe they thought you would just jump at whatever opportunity they presented you. Maybe they thought that you were desperate. But they went for the offer that they didn't want because they fell for the low-hanging fruit. So they were weak. They were being two-faced. Um, they chose somebody and they ended up not getting the offer that they had been expecting to get. So it's kind of like, oh, well, this didn't work out. Maybe I can go back to the Divine Femme and see if they'll take me back. I feel like the decision's already been made with the crossroads here. You may have already decided to cut ties with everyone in the community and just move away because you know that um, it doesn't serve you. And uh, maybe you know that there's some, uh, there's possible gang stalking or something that's going on. You can't heal when you're around these people. It's like they just make your life a hell. It's like they try to stop you from healing every chance they get. You're the queen of swords. You are someone who is in the upright, thinking logical. You tell the truth. I'm hearing motivational speakers, so you could motivate people. Yeah, somebody wanted your treasure or didn't want you to be seen as a treasure. Yeah, this king of wands was player. They didn't see you as a treasure. I felt that energy in the beginning of the reading. Your new emperor that wants to come towards you is the king of pentacles. So this is somebody who knows how to manage finances and money and you know, they are committal. They're not someone who's going to bounce around like this King of Wands in the reverse who is juggling you, juggling finances, juggling everything. You have a victory here. This is a yes card for you. 
<clears throat> so this King of Pentacles could be your divine counterpart that's coming towards you to make you a solid offer. Someone wants to rush in with some sort of truth here with the Knight of Swords. Um, this could be the King of Pentacles coming towards you to offer you some sort of truth. Um, possibly about an empress energy in the reverse, about an empress, a feminine energy, a mother figure, wife, lover. <laughs> maybe they want to come and tell you, maybe somebody wants to come tell you that they're not dealing with this person anymore, or they made a wrong choice. This could, I'm getting like a baby mama energy from this card. So somebody could have went back to like their baby mama or baby daddy, something like that. Uh, maybe to try to fix their family or something like that, and it di ended up not being the offer. They ended up making an offer to the wrong person, but they were still being in their player energy, though, so they were going back and forth between you and somebody that they were already dealing with, and now they regret that decision, <clears throat> especially now that you're moving on with somebody else. Yeah, there was a betrayal here. This king of wands betrayed you. They took their wand and they were giving it to other people. They didn't want to commit to you. Um, like I said, they judged a book by its cover. They didn't see a future with you. They thought something was going to be short term. Um, so they were dealing with other people as well. Now this person's in despair because this is a past two of cups relationship. And you made your decision. You ten of swords this because they were non-committal and, you know... You know the saying, a leper doesn't change its spots or whatever? Um, that's kind of how this is. I don't think that you believe them. You don't trust them. The trust has already been broken. We've established that in the beginning with my other, with my black and gold cards. Um, this person is not inspired. They were not, they're not inspired. Um, you don't trust them. They don't inspire you. If anything, they cause you anxiety and they mess up your energy when they get around you. You could have lived with this person at one time under the same roof. So you could have moved away from this person. Or they could be coming to tell you. Um, one of the, the decisions that you may have to make is this old person, this past person, could be coming to tell you that somebody doesn't live there anymore, that somebody moved out. Somebody was not held in high honor. Someone wants to take some sort of swift action towards you. Um, they see you working hard, growing up growing your pentacles here something's already in motion with the chariot here somebody was a gold digger so somebody could have released a gold digger um and you're working hard or someone's working hard to come towards you so somebody released a gold digger and somebody wants to come towards you and someone either sees you working hard or they're working hard to come towards you to make you some sort of offer I feel like this is two different masculines, though, so, yeah, there's a decision here if that's why you're going to be at a crossroads. There's going to be a king of wands that's going to reemerge and a king of pentacles that's coming towards you to make you an offer. Maybe they both had to cut ties with somebody before they could try to come towards you. But I feel like the king of pentacles didn't put you in a third-party situation. King of Wands did, though. So I feel like that permanent ending was a permanent ending. Somebody wasn't wanting to work on your relationship or work to do anything with you in the past. They were noncommittal. Um, you know, they didn't care. They only cared about what they could get. They rushed in with lies with the Knight of Wands. They misconstrued information. They just did something to cover their ass. The Wheel of Fortune is on your side, whoever you are, Divine Femme or Masculine. I feel like you're going to make the right choice here. I feel like it's an easy choice. A lot of you aren't even dealing with anyone from the past, but somebody wants to come and offer you some flowers. Yeah, somebody worked really hard um, to cause you a heartbreak in the past. That's the truth. Um, they didn't want to work on your relationship, but they caused you a lot of heartbreak. They didn't want to work with you. They caused you heartbreak. Now somebody wants to rush in with some sort of truth here with a Knight of Swords. So somebody could, this could be the new person that wants to come towards you and offer some flowers. Um, or it could be this past person that wants to rush in and give you a, you know, a little nugget of truth. There's a group meeting here. There's a family meeting here. Um, there's a little secret gathering. And they're talking about a queen of cups here. 
So someone could be meeting with a group of people trying to figure out how to come tell you some sort of truth about a situation. <clears throat> there could have been an entire group of people that lied to you about something and that's why you had to walk away from this entire community. Because they were trying to keep you bound in a situation. You could be juggling finances because of this. So it's like there's a whole group within the community that caused you some sort of pain or heartbreak and they caused you to be juggling and they're trying to figure out what to tell you, how much truth to tell you. I think they're still trying to figure out what they can get away with as far as you. Well, you could be moving on all together with the chariot energy here and the go card. Um, I feel like you may just move away all together and not deal with any of these people because you know they're not going to be honest with you. I mean, why is there a group meeting here talking about someone who does things from the heart anyway? Yeah, someone's not moving forward, but you're going to get the offer that you've been waiting for. So you may just have to walk away from an entire town or city or state. Yeah, these people are not moving forward. There's a king of wands here who's juggling. They're still juggling. They're juggling finances as well. So they're trying to meet up with someone, trying to figure out how to get something from you, how to convince you of something. I've changed my play of ways. I don't believe you. I'm just not believing it. That's not the energy I'm picking up. If this person is still meeting up with somebody, and this could be a jealous queen of cups as well that this person was meeting up with. This came out sideways, so, <clears throat> you know, that's now near future energy. And someone is meeting up with the Queen of Cups, and if no one is meeting up with you, then this could be the jealous person who was trying to compete with you. This could have been that Empress in Reverse energy. But someone does want to come towards you. Um, someone is traveling. Someone's going to be traveling. And this is going to lift a burden off of your shoulders, because wherever you're at or wherever you were... These people were placing heavy burdens on you with the Ten of Wands here. It's like somebody, like a whole community, a town, like people just kept putting burdens and burdens on you. This is bringing a tower moment, or has brought a tower moment. Um, people were hiding their true intentions and personalities, what, they're, what they were really trying to do to you, to you and get from you. The events are out of everyone's control. Something really big is about to happen, especially for this karmic energy. Well, I feel like a whole community. I feel like businesses are going to be suffering. Businesses are going to be shutting down. There's a lot of stuff that's going to happen because of the choices that they made. Yeah, there are big changes coming. There's a big transformation, a big change. This could be about a situation or a person going through a transformation or a change. Um, I'm getting an ascension. So somebody could be going through ascensions, like, rapidly. There's a group or community here that could be going through big changes. That are going to be going through big changes when this tower moment hits. <clears throat> so this could have not happened yet. Or this could be in progress. But there are big changes coming within a community, within a group. Because they wanted a family to be left out in the cold, homeless, with nothing. Um, nobody stepped up to do the right thing to help somebody when they needed it. And they were working with the King of Wands energy in the reverse. The King of Swords energy. Somebody who lied. Somebody could have lied to this entire community about who you are, what you do. Yeah, someone was stuck or they tried to keep you stuck from moving forward by placing those heavy burdens on you with the Ten of Wands energy that came out. Someone is watching you. They're watching to see if someone else has come towards you yet. Um, or this could be two people who want to make you that offer, that past person and this new person. Someone is watching you. They're trying to figure out who you're with, if you're seeing anybody. Uh, someone could be being watched at work. Someone's being watched at work. So whatever somebody does for work, 
Um, if this is tied to that community or that group that did something to a divine time or masculine, they're being watched. Someone's workplace is being watched. Oh, people had someone... Oh, wow. People that you worked with were watching a feminine energy... Or someone is still watching a feminine energy. Like, somebody's job could be to watch this feminine energy. Someone could be getting paid to watch, watch this person. Someone's job could be to watch them. Or they paid some somebody paid another person to watch them. Oh, an upright masculine energy. So somebody could have paid someone like a body or a bodyguard or someone to protect you. Someone is wanting to protect you because so. Oh shit! There's about to be an altercation here. So your divine masculine could be watching you or having somebody watch you. Because someone tried to frame you for something or someone's trying to frame you. I framed animals before. I framed a raccoon for opening a Christmas present. And I framed a bear for eating out of the garbage. So this emperor energy could um, be paying someone to watch you. Like not stalk you or surveil you but um, to protect you. Because there's going to be an altercation with this pompous asshole butt liquor. Um, our prices have never been lower. Yeah there's about to be an altercation. Uh, possibly between this masculine energy who is trying to protect you and this person who hurt you and is still a pompous ass trying to... Th this is like that, those two energies, both of those masculine energies. But there's going to be an altercation because someone tried to set up another person. Oh, something big's about to happen. Down, down, down. Someone's getting arrested. This pompous ass. One of these people, your ex, somebody could have been involved in illegal activity. Someone doesn't know that they're being watched. Yeah. This person didn't know that they were being surveilled or watched because of something that they did to you. If they abused you in some sort of way. Ah, someone is depressed. So these fall on the floor sideways. Someone is depressed about an authentic teacher or prophet because they know you're speaking the truth about something. You could be revealing secrets. This could have to do with that cult group activity. Something is going to be happening um, over the next 9 to 12 months involving this person. Someone lied about you. I told you, secret society group, cult involved. Yeah, this person is under the influence of drugs or alcohol, the person that lied about you. <clears throat> yeah, someone's trying to gaslight you. There's crooked judges here. Um, someone's holding themselves back. They tried to hack your accounts or they did hack your accounts. Someone was frisky or is frisky and lusting after somebody. This could be them lusting after um, a co-worker. Somebody, somebody's lusting after a person that they work with or that they're working for. Somebody was falsely arrested. So somebody could have been falsely arrested or tried to have you falsely arrested or maybe you tried to have someone else falsely arrested. Somebody feels like they have a connection with you. A relative was involved. They laughed at your problems. If you called a relative to um, get some sort of help from them, they laughed about you behind your back. Um, and they were working with this group, this cult bullshit, to set you up for something. There's definitely an entire community that's getting ready to pay the consequences for doing something. This whole town is like under investigation, whoever this is. Yeah, someone was throwing rocks and hiding hands, and charges will be filed against these people. 
especially a relative. Someone's relative is about to get charged in this as well. Yeah, someone's driving by your home. They're suffering in silence. Someone doesn't have a clue um, about something. You may not have a clue that someone ripped you off. Maybe you know that people stole something from you, but maybe you don't know what exactly they did steal from you. Because someone is hiding within the crowd here like a dime a dozen. Someone comes across as just like your average Joe, your average person. Uh, but this person is like a career thief, a career criminal. It's like they were raised to be this way. They wanted you to be in a state of poverty. Beggars can't be choosers. Or they wanted you to come begging them for your own shit. I mean, this is crazy. It's like somebody ripped you off and then they wanted you to come begging them for it. This person's playing with fire. They're not the stuff dreams are made out of and life's a bitch and it's about to be a bitch for them. And I have fire sign Aries Leo Sag. Someone's not going to be having fun in the sun. And then I have a Virgo in February. And then I have a water sign Cancer Scorpio Pisces, a Capricorn, Earth sign Taurus Virgo Capricorn. So Earth sign, water sign. Cancer and December and then there could be something significant about June So we have something that happened in August regarding a Gemini Libra and Aquarius something could be significant about a Friday with Gemini Libra Aquarius So air signs really heavy um, so there was a Friday in August that an involved an air sign. It could be a double air sign, so an air sign could have done something to another air sign. Someone has court coming up. There's a group here that's going to be divided and conquered. You could have single-handedly brought down an entire group because of something that you brought to people's attention. Um, there's something significant about a Tuesday and an October with a Virgo. Somebody did not err on the side of caution. Better safe than sorry. Somebody got sloppy by hook or crook. This person's a criminal. Someone's a criminal here. This could be the Virgo. That's a thief or a criminal. They wanted to steal something and they were willing to go to any lengths to do this. This person was a loose cannon. They're mentally unstable, emotionally unstable. A cancer could be significant. In the nighttime in November. One of these karmics or somebody feels like their back's up against the wall or they're going to be backed up against the wall. Somebody's getting caught. Someone, yeah, there's a Leo here that has one foot in the grave. What goes around comes around. You were sincere the entire time and then I have an Aries. Someone is trying to control something or take control of something, take the tiger by its tail. So there could be an Aries or someone is trying to control an Aries. Um, they did something in the summertime, or summer is significant, or it's going to be. Alright, let's pull some letters here. <laughs> Alright, person, place, or thing, V could be significant. F. I'm hearing VFW, so the VFW could be significant. <clears throat> J. So someone could be a veteran. F. D. Fire department could be significant. 
Someone could be, um, yeah, VFW came out, yeah. VFW, the fire department, so someone could be a veteran, a fireman, a retired fireman, something like that. Someone definitely has a lot of connections to the community. D. M. K. Another F. So we have VFW, FD, JDM, and K and F. I hope this helps. Have a good day.